welcome you all again for the thermodynamics lecture series today we are going to discuss about some problems on first law of thermodynamics so in this lecture i am going to solve a problem on first law of thermodynamics problem 7 a gas of mass 1.5 kg undergoes a quasi static expansion which follows a relationship p is equal to a plus BB where A and B are constants. The initial and final pressures are 100 kPa and 200 kPa respectively and the corresponding volumes are 0.2 m3 and 1.2 m3. The specific internal energy of the gas is given by the relation U is equal to 1.5 PV minus 85 kJ per kg where P is in kPa and V is in meter cube per kg. Calculate the net heat transfer and the maximum internal energy of the gas attained during expansion. So here in this problem, they are having a quasi-static expansion. So we know that what is mean by a quasi-static expansion. So a quasi-static expansion is infinitesimally a small change will be occur during an expansion process. So consider a PV diagram. So for example, a spring loaded piston is there, when we add, when we remove the weight, by slowly removing one by one weight, it will be attains an equilibrium state at each and every point to obtain a quasi-static expansion process. So here, in that way, so in that way, expansion process achieved in this problem, it follows the relation, they have said that they are, it is following the relation pressure P is equal to A plus BV and where a and b are constant so these a and b are constant and mass is also given the question it is 1.5 kg the initial and final pressures are 100 kilopascal and 200 kilopascal so that is initial condition as 1 and final condition as 2 so initial pressure p1 is equal to 100 kilopascal and final pressure p2 is 200 kilopascal respectively at the corresponding volumes so volume is 0.2 meter cube here it is meter cube so total volume is given in the equation so you should have to write capital v1 so v1 is equal to 0.2 meter cube and 1.2 meter cube so this is of second that is final state v2 is equal to 1.2 meter cube of volume then the specific internal energy of the gas is given by the relation u is equal to 1.5 pv so this v is in small or small letter okay so here it is specific volume pressure pv minus 85 kilojoule per kilogram where pressure p is in kilopascal okay so pressure p is in kilopascal and v small specific volume is in meter cube per kilogram so in this problem they have given here the volume is in total volume and here the volume is in specific volume so we have to note this one Okay, carefully we have to sub convert all the values either in specific volume or in total volume then we have to proceed. Calculate the net heat transfer and the maximum internal energy. We need to find it out the net heat transfer by using a first law of thermodynamics and also the internal energy, maximum internal energy attained during the expansion process. So as I already said we need to convert this values into specific volume or in a total volume. So I am converting into all the values in terms of specific volume. So we know that the specific volume equal to total volume divided by mass of the substance. Okay. So I am writing the specific volume of 1. Here the total volume V1 is given and also we know the mass it is 1.5 kg. The specific volume of V1 is 0.2 divided by 1.5. So specific volume V1 is equal to 0.133 meter cube per kilogram. In the similar way v2 is equal to 1.2 divided by 1.5 so v2 is equal to 0.8 meter cube per kg so in this problem they are asking about net heat transfer we need to find out net heat transfer and also the maximum internal energy so in the equation they have given us p is equal to a plus bv first one is I am substituting the first condition P1 okay so P1 is equal to 100 kilopascal and constants A and V V is in the total volume that is 0.2 meter cube so 0.2 into V and in the second equation P2 okay so P2 is 200 kilopascal I am applying the initial and final condition to this equation okay then we can obtain P1 is equal to A plus B into V1 in the second condition P2 is equal to A plus B into V2 okay by substituting the 
so values given in the problem we can obtain p2 is 200 kilopascal which is equal to a plus 1.2 into b this 1.2 is b2 1.2 meter cube by solving these two linear equations by solving these two linear equations to obtain the constant a is equal to 1160 and b is equal to minus 800 by substituting this a and b values in this pressure equations what you can get p is equal to 1160 minus 800 b this a is 1160 and b is minus 800 by obtaining this equation as we already know we need to find it out work done so work done is the integral of p into dv from the initial state to final state the initial condition is 1 and the final condition is 2 here this p this p pressure relation in b denoted as 1160 minus 800 b so work done is equal to 11600 minus 800 b into db okay so when we integrate this constant what do you get when you integrate this constant you will get v and we integrate v you will get v square by 2 okay from the limits from 1 to 2 here we are varying from the volume so i can write v1 to v2 okay by substituting this that is 1160 into upper limit minus lower limit so upper limit is v2 and lower limit is v1 so we can write Work done is equal to 1160 into V2 minus V1 minus of 800 V2 800 by 2 into V2 square minus V1 square. So substitute the values of V2 and corresponding V1 in terms of meter cube. Okay, not by using meter cube per kg. You substitute all the values in terms of meter cube only. Okay, here it is capital V. So you have to substitute all the values in terms of meter cube. Don't substitute in meter cube per kg. Then in the question they have given u is equal to 1.5 PV. Here they have given specific volume minus 85 kilojoule per kilogram. But we need to find it out in terms of kilojoule because the work done is in kilojoule. In the previous we have found out work done is in kilojoule. But in the question itself, the equation itself they have given it as specific volume, specific internal energy. Okay, specific internal energy kilogram kilojoule per kilogram. So we need to eliminate this mass. For that, I am multiplying with mass. Okay, so I am multiplying this equation is with mass. What you can get? What is the unit of the mass? Unit of the mass is kilogram. So kilogram, kilogram get can cancelled. Then your equation U will be in a kilojoule. So that thereby I am writing the equation internal energy U is equal to m into U. So this m is in kilogram and this U is in kilojoule per kilogram. By cancelling this equation, you can directly get U in terms of kilojoule. So I am substituting the initial condition u1 is equal to mass, mass is same in the pro throughout the problem. So u1 is equal to m into here u is 1.5 p1 v1 minus 85. So this v1 is I have find it out in the given data. Okay. So I am finding out in the given data the specific volume I substitute 0 0.133 minus 85. You obtain this u1 value in terms of kilojoule applying the second condition here okay final state condition u2 here u2 is equal to m into u2 okay so u2 is 1.5 into p2 v2 okay so p2 and v2 so v2 this v2 is your specific volume you have to substitute the specific volume 0 0.8 minus 85 by solving the simple equation you can get u2 is equal to 232.5 kilojoule by comparing these two okay so which internal energy is maximum u2 okay so in the problem the last question they have asked that what is the maximum internal energy obtained in the problem okay so the maximum obtained energy is u2 is equal to 232.5 kilojoule the next one we need to find it out q net heat transfer for that we need to find it out change in internal energy so delta u is equal to u2 minus u1 so we know u2 and u1 by differencing that we can find it out delta u so from the first law of thermodynamics u is equal to w plus del u where w is 600 kilojoule and delta u is 330.07 kilojoule so w we, we find it out in the previous one integral of pdv and check the unit whether it is kilojoule or kilojoule per kilogram so work done is in kilojoule and also we have to substitute delta u is in kilojoule so we can obtain q is equal to 930.075 kilojoule so as a result, they asked two questions. Okay, so what are all they? The net heat transfer, net heat transfer Q is equal to 930.075 kilojoule and also the maximum internal energy. So the maximum internal energy is we have to check whether U1 
or u2 so here u1 is a negative sign so this it is not possible as a maximum so u2 is 232.5 kilojoule thank you